Hi, my name is Ben Anderson, and I'm a developer on the Potfly Game Creator team. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to tweak the appearance of an actor. So, just as a simple example, I'm going to choose the jellyfish actor. And I see that there's a red, a yellow, a green, and a blue jellyfish. But I really want an orange one. So I can get an orange jellyfish by selecting uh, one of the jellyfish. I'll just choose the yellow one. And then clicking on it in the actor pane. If I click appearance, you'll see the jellyfish. And if I click switch to XAML, it will show me the XAML representation. Now this is just sort of code for how to draw the jellyfish. And what I can do to edit this easily, instead of by hand going through and trying to figure out what I want to do, is if I just select it all, copy it, and move over to Microsoft Expression Blend. After XAML is copied to the clipboard, I'm going to show you how to edit it using Microsoft Expressions Blend. The 2.5 March 2008 preview is available for free online now. Uh, once it's released, that won't be avail available for free anymore, but you can use other tools like Visual C Sharp Express, which is available for free, but uh, aren't quite as good for editing Silverlight XAML uh, once that happens. So now that I'm inside of Blend, I can click New Project and create a Silverlight site. The name doesn't matter because we're just going to be using this as a template to edit our XAML. So I can create the site. Okay. All right, now that I have uh, my project open, you'll see page.xaml. And I can use uh, this to dump in the XAML I have on the clipboard by clicking Split View, which will show me both the code and uh, the image above. And if I select all this, delete it, and paste in my jellyfish actor, once I find it on the screen, you'll see that I can see it there. Now what I really wanted to do was change it to an orange color. If you see, look at the right pane, there's the Project and Properties pane. If I change to Properties, and I select uh, inside of the jellyfish actor, if I just click with the mouse, you can see the color is selected here. Now it's yellow, but I really wanted a nice orange color, so I'll adjust the value there and make it a little darker. Now I have an orange jellyfish. So to get my orange jellyfish back into Popfly, all I have to do is select all on my XAML, copy it into the clipboard, go back to Popfly, paste it in over the top of this, click switch to design, and now I have my orange jellyfish. Well, that's it. You can use Blend to superimpose images uh, or do more advanced drawing tweaks if you want uh, to create your actor and give it a more personalized exp uh, expression or appearance. Um, but that's the basics of how to get move back and forth between them. Thanks, and good luck with your games.